Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have first impressions to do. And you know by now that I love first impressions. It's my favorite kind of review. And today, this fragrance is coming from the house of Carolina Herrera. This fragrance come out in 2022. So it's been around now for a year and a bit. And it is Bad Boy Cobalt. Let's do this. <laughs> What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikey Cologne and thank you very much for tuning in today. That is right, we have first impressions to do. Like I said, this has been around for a little while now. I won't say it's a new release because it isn't, but it's a newish release. I believe it come out in the later half of 2022. And it is Bad Boy Other Parfum Electric. Cobalt, or is it Bad Boy Cobalt of the Parfum Electrique? These days, these fragrances, their names seem to be getting longer and longer. But before I get going, if you do enjoy my content or you're stopping by for the first time, hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. It doesn't cost you no money. And always press the bell because it will notify you when I drop a review at a later date. And I have a code for you lot. If you're interested in any fragrance from the niche house or the fragrance niche house, Unique Luxury, go onto their website, put whatever you want in your cart. And when it says coupon code or promo code or discount code, put in Mikey-Kute23. That will give you 15% off your order. I don't earn no money out of this. I always say this. The code is there for you lot to save money. They don't pay me a commission. They don't pay me to say this or to give out the code. It is there if you want to use it. And if not, then not. But anyway, we're going to dive straight into this. We're going to see what the fragrance is saying. And then we are going to go from there. And then we're going to check out some notes. Damn it. If you have tried this, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. This is a 50ml bottle. And like I say, it's at the perfume concentration. Bad boy, Carolina Herrera. Let's go. And I want to say quickly, I don't have no experience with the bad boy line. I don't own any. This is the first one that I own. And the reason why I got this one is because I believe tomorrow I have the Elixir, the bad boy Cobalt Elixir turning up. And I'm going to do first impressions on that as well. So I thought I would get this one in and do first impressions on this. So I kind of get the smell or the taste of the fragrance, so to speak. Not the taste, but you know what I mean. See what it smells like. And then not quite a comparison, but to see how it tallies up or see what the differences are on first impressions. That is why I went for Cobalt. And you have the lightning bolt. Some people think the bottles look cheesy. To me, they're a little bit, is it gimmicky? But I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't mind them. I don't look at the bottles and think, yeah, I think, yeah, they look all right. But it's about the juice inside. I do like a good looking bottle, there's no doubt about it. To me, it's about presentation and it's about the juice. But some people only care about the juice. Is this gonna be nice? Is it gonna be mass appealing? We're gonna find out. That gives out loads of juice, that atomizer. Look. Loads of juice. Aromatic. Fresh. Straight away, I like this. I actually think this is a pleasant fragrance. It's got this, right, it's fresh, aromatic. And I would say that this has... Not a citrusy type of sweetness to it. It's got a fruity quality to it. And it has a nice dose of sweetness as well. 
I wouldn't say overly sweet, but I think you have to appreciate sweeter fragrances to appreciate the opening of Cobalt. Lavender. You've got this smooth lavender that I'm getting, but it's aromatic and lavender does give off an aromatic quality. But you can tell, or I can tell that it's lavender in this and it is smooth, it's blending in well with that fruity sweetness. A little bit woodsy. Mass appealing. This is a mass appealing fragrance. This is, to me, it's an all year round fragrance. I think it would be great in spring and summer. These types of scents are, or these types of fragrances or scent profiles, they're very mass appealing. They're easy on the nose. They're easy to wear. You can wear them in any situation. Yeah, it's bright. It's not, I'm not wowed by it, but I like the scent. Some people, right, this is what I'm going to say. Yes, I collect fragrances. Yes, I review fragrances. But if I like a fragrance, I'm going to say I like it. And if I don't, I don't. For people that have big collections and that do collect fragrances, they might smell this and think, mm, I smelled it before. Because to me, it's not reminding me of one particular thing. But the scent profile is definitely coming across as, I would say, a little bit generic. So people with big collections might smell this and think, yep, yeah, I smelled that before. But to your average Joe Blow on the street who doesn't collect fragrances, this is a very nice smelling scent. There is no doubt about it. Like if you're wearing, you could wear this to the office. You could wear this if you're going out for drinks. You could wear this if you're in a white t-shirt, fresh out the shower. Right now, that woodsy undertone, that was very faintly there is now starting to amp up a little bit that lavender is calming down and the sweetness is calming down but the fruity quality it is starting to turn up a little bit i think it's nice i really do i enjoy it this is going to be great for spring and summer definitely definitely summer as well right let's look up the notes let's see what this has in it it's definitely got as well, it's got this soft, spicy quality to it. But to me, a lot of aromatic fragrances or fragrance that has aromatic qualities in it normally does have a little bit of spice to it as well. And this does. It's not jumping out at you, but it's, it's the spice is smooth along with the lavender. You watch now, I'll get the notes up and it won't have no spice in it. Right, top notes, lavender, pink pepper. Middle notes, plum and geranium. Base notes is vetiver, truffle, cedar and oak. So the base notes is full of woods. To me, I'm not getting truffle. To me, I think comes across as earthy. I haven't had a lot of experience with the note of truffle. And am I getting anything earthy here? Not as of yet, I'm not, no. Let's smell the test strip quick. Wow, on test strip, it, that plum is really like popping on test strip. I'm hardly getting no spice on test strip. The lavender is there. It's kind of similar to what I'm getting on skin, but it's definitely sitting a lot fresher on test strip than what it is on my skin. On my skin, I want to say it's got a little bit of a rich quality to it. Yeah, I enjoy that. I'm not wowed by it, but I think it's a solid fragrance. I do. I'm going to get loads of wear out of that. It's, that's such an easy reach, this is. Right, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you have tried this fragrance. What do you think of it? Have you tried the new Elixir? I cannot wait for it to turn up tomorrow. I cannot wait to do first impressions on it. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, drop a comment down below. Let me know which one is your favourite from the lineup. And which one is worth checking out? Like I say, this is my first experience with the bad boy line. And I know you like watching this might be thinking, how is that even possible? It is. There's so many fragrance brands and lines. There's millions of them out there. And I've probably not even put a dent into 
how many fragrances, or I I probably haven't put a dent into all the fragrances that I've smelt that how many is out there. You know what I mean. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate everybody's support. And remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I'll see you lot on the next one. Cheers.